Hedging is one of those topics that many accountants feel is complex, confusing, and dare I say, scary. But it doesn't have to be as scary as you might expect. Take a deep breath and let's break down this complex topic to help you further understand hedging. Let's start with, what is hedging? Hedging is merely mitigating risk. One of the simplistic examples of mitigating risk that we can all relate to is insurance. If you own a house, it is a big investment, right? If your house burns down, that could be catastrophic to you. Now, you never know whether that event will ever happen, but you buy insurance to reduce your risk just in case. So, buying homeowner's insurance is essentially your way of hedging the risk of damage to your investment in your home. It is similar for companies. Companies are exposed to a variety of risks which they monitor and may choose to manage or economically hedge, usually through the use of derivative instruments. So, that is a basic introduction to hedging. Of course, it does get a bit more complex, and we will go further down the rabbit hole in this course to explore hedge accounting and the intricacies of the accounting guidance in ASC 815.